bulletin. From humble beginnings, a Melbourne-based technology company has quickly made its mark in the big business of world sport. And as Mark Lugugan discovered, it's attracted the attention of one of America's wealthiest businessmen. It's the little device that's made a Melbourne company a major player on the world sporting stage. With its wearable athlete tracking technology, Catapult Sports is helping teams across the globe gain an edge. We work with about 350 of the biggest names in elite sports. So that's guys from the New York Giants to the San Antonio Spurs and AC Milan down to uh, Australian teams like Collingwood Football Club or the Australian cricket team. Weighing only 60 grams, the Catapult Optimi has 12 sensors that measure more than 100 fields of data helping with tactics, skill execution and even injury prevention. It's also played a major part in changing the way we interact with the players in terms of how we provide the information back to the players that tells them how much they need to improve and in what particular areas. Catapult's first AFL client was Hawthorne back in 2007. They won the Premiership the very next year, so it wasn't surprising that North Melbourne and every other club soon got on board too. You know, you'd safely say it's in many aspects has changed the way we play the game, um, it's changed how we understand the game. But the biggest boost yet came when billionaire businessman Mark Cuban bought the technology for his NBA team, the Dallas Mavericks. So impressed was Cuban, he has become an investor in the company. The fact that he's chosen to be involved with us, not just as an investor but also as an advisor, um, is really an endorsement of what we're doing, so we're pretty excited about it. Started just six years ago with only its two founders on the payroll, Catapult now boasts offices on three continents and employs more than 50 staff a figure that could double by the end of this year. You do pinch yourself. I mean, it's been an amazing journey and uh, we've had some amazing people involved to help us get to this stage. Mark McGugan, Nine News.